I absolutely love the Resident Evil franchise, and I know that some of you will kill me for what I'm about to say, but I am a new Resident Evil fan since 2017, since Resident Evil 7. Now, I played a few of the other Resident Evils as well, but the one I loved the most was the game I did also kind of grow up with, which is actually Resident Evil 7. So I wanted to play this one and actually have a challenge. So I quickly thought, what about Resident Evil 7 without spending? I think that's possible, I guess, we will see. Thus, this challenge was great. So now, can you beat Resident Evil 7 without sprinting? Let's find out. So after doing the first house for the 100th time, I got to the first Mia encounter. Which was pretty easy with this training strat. Although I did mess it up a little by mistake. I got welcome to the family and started actually gaming. Alright, before the actual gameplay starts, I wanted to say that my audio capture is really really weird with this game, it really never happened with any other game before, but uh, I'm sorry for that, I'm going to try not to use that capture anymore. When I'm going to play Resident Evil, it will get weir even weirder. Later, for me as well, not only for the video, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully, now that I have it on Steam, we'll fix it. If not, then I am going to try to use a diff different capture for this game. Now, this part made me happy. This was the most fun I had in this sequence since my first playthrough. Having Jack constantly behind you, not knowing how close he was or if he was going to attack, gave me quite a good time. Anyway, there was no way in hell I could escape getting my leg chopped off, so hit that. Also, I want to point out, I also wanted to 100% the game, just to flex on the bakers, I guess. Anyway, the gear sequence was really easy. Oh yeah, 
I'm gonna take you for a ride. <laughs> And the rest was as easy until I got to the bottom. But I managed to escape Jack and make it to the basement. There I collected everything I needed and went to the boss fight. I was really afraid about getting my head chopped off because I could not dodge Jack's attack but it all worked out and I beat him easily. Oh, wanna hear a funny story I guess. Uh, so I was editing the, this part right now and uh, when I saw Jack doing that attack, that insta-death attack, uh, the first thing I did was press space to dodge, uh, because I did not want to die, but uh, I forgot that I was editing. So uh, yeah, funny story for you right here. I got the other heads, the broken shotgun and the repair kit and well this is where things get weird. See I really don't know what is up with my game but every time I go through this door right here my game audio glitches like just listen to it really quick. Yeah, I will talk more about this problem at the end, so if you want to hear more, then uh, you'll hear more at the end. This is why I also quit speedrunning, because I used to speedrun this game, but uh, I it got really, really annoying. Because I need to restart to fix it, and you cannot do that in speedruns. It is annoying, but it gets fixed soon. In this house, I proceeded, the game was normal, beat this hag. the hag again and thank god she gets this tunnel going so I do not have to go to that cursed door again.
Holy shit, this is actually so easy. Yeah, well, I think I... Uh, it seems like... The, it seems like this challenge is falling apart with me. Sweating, it's so hard, and trying to save bullets everywhere I can. Anyway, I got the hand, progressed, watched a tutorial on where every item is, because I cannot, rem for the life of me, actually remember. Got two cards from Lucas. And I also got the weak sh inferior shotgun, because why not, I guess. I repaired the other gun and went to Lucas. Was fight, I guess. We could call it that. Anyway. After that, I saved Mia and fought Jack again. Yeah, I defeated him easily. And this time I actually saved me up. Now, to me as part, I was pretty scared of this sequence uh, as I wanted to also complete this deathless, so I really took my time. After watching the videotape, 
and yeah, I also watched every single other videotape. Anyway, I got in everything needed to go to Eton. And I saved his ass and escaped the ship. Now playing a sim, I again really over prepared and went through the mines. And after crafting the serum, reading very interesting files and fighting my way through the caves, I reached the first house. It's called guest house, but I'm not sure anyway. This is where we encountered a problem that we would actually come to realize that it was a pure wall. This random Evelyn sequence seems to be impossible without spraining. Guys, I, I swear, I tried everything from glitching, lowering the FPS. To assign the guard button to my right click for that 0.1 millisecond. But still nothing. I even tried to bomb myself to see if it negates knockback from Evelyn, but no, just a wall. And why do I think this is a wall? 
Well, the closer I get to Evelyn, the harder it is to move. So even if I was to get here, it's impossible to get to her. I tried searching it up, of course I found nothing. I tried applying math, which worked to a certain extent, but I did not manage to do it. So unfortunately, this game seems to be unbeatable with Sprintless. Well, at least for now. If you have any way of getting that last sequence Sprintless, then please share. That would be an insane epic gamer moment. One sprint. One singular sprint. One singular sprint. One singular sprint. Well, for me, the single way a door would open would be for you to subscribe, as I didn't even manage to complete the game 100%. Really, don't, just do not me ask, just don't ask me how. I collected every single note the tutorial told me to. Uh, probably I forgot something like the shopping list. But uh, anyway, I guarantee that the single file that I forgot is something insignificant and really easy to get. Alright, so right here I promised you that I am going to give you some more in-depth on what I think it's happening or whatever. So let's see, the whole video was kind of bugged, I don't know why, let's open OBS just to show you how my OBS works. Alright, so we have this thing right here. This thing is like a mod I guess or something I found online that uh, makes a separate audio sources if i don't have this then uh, the monitor audio source will just capture everything with this then i can say capture only the game sound and i say what was the game and discord so i can also capture this one so if i go to gameplay right here and i go to uh, wait no game sound right here and select properties it will go ahead and say this because this is the, <laughs> the last thing i used um, to select i don't know why that thing won't focus but you get the point so like wait a second if i go here and play one of my own videos and i go back to obs then go ahead and select right here properties and select this then as you can see it will start capturing whatever i am saying you cannot hear but you get the point this is why uh, this is for moments when i want to also listen to something in the background like a youtube video and uh, i did this actually while recording the resident evil 7 video so uh, yeah 
that's why if you look back you will see a lot of pauses and the game pausing a lot but anyway this is basically how i use my obs now this game sound right here that i what did i press that i already show you has really really worked for everything except this game this resident evil right here don't ask me why really i i don't know either but uh uh yeah the idea is that i think i am going to stop using this when i am recording resident evil i am going to test a bit more i guess and see what what's happening I, now i have the game on steam i'm not playing it on another on xbox basically i had wait a second because i already have the game pass i uh played i played right here the resident evil on the xbox game launcher i guess i don't know look i play roblox here if you want to know but anyway that's where i played resident evil and that's where i am not going to play it anymore because now i bought it on steam anyway maybe that will fix it because here, here comes the second problem uh the way you could hear like it gets worse when i enter that door when i i told you that door I have no idea why I tried reinstalling the game so, so many times. I asked many years ago, well, not many years ago, like one, maybe one year ago or half a year ago. Anyway, why it happens when I was trying to speedrun and it didn't work. Really, I have no idea. Hopefully it's fixed. Hopefully every, everything else is fixed now that I have the game on Steam. If it is not, then I am going to try to make something so i can actually fix it anyway sorry for this technical uh, interview i guess uh, i really don't know how to call it anyway back to past sbf thanks for watching this video and if you are watching on the launch day i want to say merry christmas thanks for watching and see you next time